John Ramshaw coming in now, who uh, was in the dugout in that exciting uh, game against uh, Kings Lynn. Welcome once again, John. Thank you, Paul. Let's take uh, the managerial point of view on a few incidents, first of all. Let's okay. just get your breath back, um, of course. <laughs> yes, so, of course. Interesting yes. officials, we'll say, first of all. Um, yes, interesting. We'll cover it, I think, without us getting into trouble. Yes, right, we'll start off then, we've shown the, the penalty, but we'll show the, the penalty miss, first mm -hmm. of all, it was a um, poor miss really. Yeah, um, I, I don't really know what's going through the boy's mind there, away from home, you know, in a vital game like this, Wise tried a little dink, um, you know, the, our instructions would have been just smash it. What were you feeling at this point? I mean, it was almost parallel to the Hereford game, wasn't it, to it, a certain extent? And, uh, yeah, yeah, I thought I thought we started brightly, if I'm going to be honest, Paul, I thought we started very brightly. Um, and then they edged their way back into the game. Um, the penalty it was one of those, wasn't it? Uh, Looking not to be sent off in many respects, but he had to come rushing out, he had two I, arms, I suppose didn't he? so, but I, I think the rules say that if it's outside the box, he would have walked. Um, you know, inside the box, it's it, it's a it's a yellow card and a penalty. Um, so the the referee has applied the letter of the law there, uh, and and you know it worked in our favour on this occasion. So, uh, you know, we we've got nothing too much to complain about there. Like I say, I thought that I, I just don't understand what was going through the boy's head when when he tried when he tried to dink it. You know, but um, thankfully he thankfully did. Thankfully he did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you can't keep whiting out the action and he's man of the match today and deservedly so. <clears> but uh, let's look at the goal. The only goal of the game, as it turned out, was Aaron O'Connor on 19 minutes. Let's have a look at the goal. That's <laughs> uh, Aaron O'Connor on I 19 minutes. I need folk to look at it there. Let's have a look at the goal. <laughs> what's the ground dog day? <laughs> Not quite sure what's going on here, but we'll show you the, the goal in a moment. It was uh, Aaron O'Connor slipping in for his uh, 18th of the season, 13th um, in the league, and kept his fine. Here we go. Yeah, typical Aaron and goal, wasn't it? You know, inside the six yard box, it's where he's deadly. Um, I thought that was, yeah. Great finish, great finish. As always, Mills there, just in case if the goalkeeper missed it as well, didn't he? Yeah, so he was exactly, there to, uh, exactly. Tap yeah. it in. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I thought Rennie did brilliantly um, there as well, by the way. You know, the way he, he got across the man and then sort of drove into the box and, and squared it for Aaron. I thought he, I thought Rennie did superbly there. Um, but that's a, that's a good finish. That's a good striker's finish. As much as Strong, as well. physical, intimidating, time wasting, tricky side, I'd say. Um, Kingsland Town. And right. As I said, I didn't think that's the Kingsland Town that have been playing their games recently. They seem to be have a set plan to frustrate and deny us everything. Mm. And it almost worked, didn't it? I thought you were talking about us there when you started the description. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, but uh, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean they, they, they were they were big and strong and physical, and, and, and there's no two ways about it. You just got to look at the chip and side on Yeah, that won it, and you've got to be big, strong, and physical if you're going to win this league. Um, we'd all love to get out of this league by playing, you know, Man Attractive. Manchester City football, but uh, but but it's not going to happen. Um, you know, you've, you've got to have the physical presence, and, and and I think they've probably built a side that uh, that, that uh, around. Around that sort of those guidelines to 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 to, to compete um, as we have. And, but you uh, contained their lap in Metam and Gash quite well, didn't you? Their danger threesome, and uh, <coughs> you know again Marshall had a good game. So did Brett in there as well. But to contain those three, that's their their danger man was really a credit to the Poppy's team, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I thought um, I thought apart from a couple of individual errors, Brett when he missed the header and let the boy in. Um, and then uh, Tom, when he tried to head the ball back to the keeper and headed it back straight into Metham's path. Apart from those two errors, I thought the back the back four were excellent. Um, but but yeah, they're a difficult pair. There's no two ways about it. You know, gashi has got a good pedigree. He's played at he's played at the highest level. Um, and and Metham, I know from when he was a kid, when he first got released by Lincoln City. Um, and he's always been a busy. He's always been a busy player, and his movements good. Um, and, and we talked about that at half time. You know, the, the the two centre backs were saying his movement is causing us problems. So we talked about ways to negate that, and and fortunately we did. You know, we did indeed. And what's your version? We haven't got this on on film as we were concentrating the camera on the the corner flag and the corner to be taken. But uh, <coughs> the rich in sending off. No one's really quite sure what, what happens. Um, I don't for. think. I, I don't think anybody saw it except the referee. Um, I asked the I asked the linesman what it was for, and he, he quite honestly said, uh, basically, I didn't see it. I was watching for the corner. Um, obviously, in our dugout, we were looking to make sure that we'd set up properly for the corner. Um, so we didn't. We just didn't see it. We just didn't see it at all. Has um, Richard said anything himself? Or? Um, no, he said he, he said he went to shrug the boy off, and then the next thing he knew, the boy went went down, holding his face. Um, so I think we just got to wait and. 
Mm-hmm. See what the referee's report says. Well, Matty Stevens came on today, which could be his final game for the club. Uh, another cameo appearance from Matty. I'd be sorry to see him go. Well, I, uh, I hope he's not going to go, if I'm going to be honest, because, uh, you know, as I've talked about before, he's a super kid. He's very popular at the club with the fans and, and with the players and the staff. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a good pro. He's, a, he's got a great attitude. Um, and I know that everything's been done to make sure that Matty's uh, still with us, uh, you know, come, 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 come the next game. Come the next game, that's yeah. at Basingstoke on Saturday away, a little trip to Hampshire. Mm. Let's just have a look at the, the Paul White, um, where he was hit um, by Metham. Uh, I thought there <coughs> should have been probably a red card there, if you need him in the neck. Mm. Mm. You consider how Richens was sent off, but nobody saw it except the referee, where everyone saw this, and uh, that is a dangerous follow-through, isn't it? Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at that. At, at the time, of course, we were very aggrieved. We thought we thought it was a red card because we thought the, the boy had gone through him. But looking at that now, you know, in the cold light of day, he's trying to put the brakes on. I think there, look, he's trying to put the brakes on there and just can't on the surface. He just can't do it and uh, and collides with Paul. Um, it's a little bit reckless, but was it a red card? I, I'm not really sure about that, Paul, if I'm going to be honest. Mm. As Brett said, it was very difficult conditions out there. The pitch didn't help the f- fluidity of the the game, but um, I think we dealt with the surface better than the Kings Lane. Yeah, and I mean, you know, they're complaining all the time about their home surface, saying that it's not the best and it's affecting their progress. Um, so, I mean, they should have been used to a difficult surface, but uh, we did, I thought, adapted to it quite well today. We didn't try to overplay. Um, you know, we got the ball forward quickly and, and, and picked up seconds, um, as you have to do, horses for courses. Great way to start the 2018, top of the league by two points. Couldn't ask yeah. more than that, really, could we? You couldn't, and, and what a lovely occasion for Brett Salkin. 500 appearances, um, a win against the top of the league to send us top of the league. There is a rumour that the wallet's coming out in, in the bar, so if you want to rush over there and witness this event, then um, I think you want to dip over, John. Brett's wallet. Brett's wallet, you've heard about it. Uh, I've heard the rumours, but I've never seen it. I've never seen it either. All all the years I've been, I've never seen the wallet. uh, The (laughs) rumour is it that uh, he's over there with it. uh, Thanks for the same, John. Great performance for the lads. Thank you very much. uh, We roll on now to Basingstoke on uh, Saturday to continue the rollercoaster ride of Kentucky Town Football Club.